I've got to get that checklist. Hang on. Let me... <laughs> Hello, Bob. Now you stay there. You good boy. Good boy. Okay, wait a minute. I'm just checking my batteries on my mic, which I should have done earlier. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. Ah, oh, dear, dear. I'll tell you, I can mess with G'day, how are you? Before I start ranting and raving. I'm Steve Hay, this is Woodworking Masterclass. Welcome to the workshop. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification so you know when we're on. And uh, later on, if you choose to, and you'd like to become a member of the Woodworking Masterclass channel, hit the join button and get some bonus videos and bloopers and whatever else. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm not real good at all that salesman stuff, but I have to do it apparently if I want my channel to grow. So there you go. It grows exponentially, but you do have to push it. G'day, Paul, how are you? Oh, mate, thank you for being in the chat room. Are you lonely in there? What you want to do is buy a coffee and the next person that comes in, buy them a coffee and then they buy two coffees when the next lot come in and then they buy four coffees and you end up getting free coffees all night long. Speaking of coffees, I haven't had <laughs> any bad experiences. As I went to a new coffee, not a new coffee shop, my, my standard. Theo and I laughingly, do you like that stuff? Look at that, that's called Zabrano. Where are we? There you go. Lovely stuff. Um, I'm just sorting out some veneer packs, which I'll tell you about in a tick. Yeah, I went up to my local one, which Theo and I call the office, and showed them my rant, and they just reckon it was the best thing ever because I mentioned their coffee shop at the end of it. So there you go. Oh, yeah, it's funny, this thing. What have we got? David, good morning. Oh, we, hang on. HMV's down there. I've got the camera set up over the thing I'm a jiggle, so, but I can tell you, Bob is asleep on his mattress. We have, no, no, I said sleep, stay. Um, I haven't made his bed up yet because when I, I bought the bed frame down, it was missing a bolt, so I've got to put a new bolt in it. And then he can have a proper bed. How spoils that nut? I tell you. Oh, dear. Now, I've been busy on the classroom. I'm saying, I'll just show you some of this stuff as it comes up. That's gorgeous. That's, um, oh, you can't quite see it the way it should be. See, it's lovely. That's Poplar Burl. Lovely stuff. So what I've, I've had for, I've just worked it out actually, it was about 25 years ago, I got all these veneers and I put them in these plastic sleeves. Now after 25 years, that's the sleeve. And I thought, oh, I'll give them a birthday, I'll shout myself new sleeves. That's exactly what I've done. So what I'm doing now is just transferring them into new sleeves. And that's in preparation for my box making classes when they kick off and people can have a look at the, this is nice, this is, um, what's that? Quilted cherry. You can't see, you've got to push the button, Stephen. There you go. Isn't that awesome? It's lovely stuff. So I've got all this I'm playing with. As soon as I finish this pile, we'll get in and start doing the box. Yeah, the, the thing with the box. Hey, let me have a good morning. G'day, Frank. How are you? G'day, Paul. Paul, but four degrees. Oh, I'm a comfortable 20 in my shed. The, um, the Bureau of Meteorology, uh, the gas factory, I'd call them. How can we spend so much money all on satellites and we can predict the weather? They're about as accurate as throwing a dart without feathers in space. Oh, but we can predict things. Yeah, I can predict things too. It might rain today. Give me a billion dollars. That, that's, my, that's my new one, I think. I'll, I'll have a set against the Bureau of Meteorology. Fair thing, and they are. They're useless. They, they have not been right yet. Oh, when you're in the middle of a storm, they're good. They'll tell you that there's a storm and it's going to last for an hour. Well, that's, that's great. Thanks very much. I'll work that out for myself. As I said to my wife the other night, I said, you should contact them because I reckon what they should do, her knee plays up when it's going to rain. And you should get all the people over 60 scattered around the world. You should give them little 
apps. There you go. Give them an app. As soon as their lumbago plays up, they press a button and we know it's going to rain because I'll tell you what, those joints are more accurate than all these satellites they've got buzzing around in outer space. Uh, might not look as nice when you watch the weather on um, the news. <laughs> you, just, you just see all these bulging sore joints. <laughs> oh, it's going to be raining in this part because this lady's ankles flared up or this man's elbow's playing up. Oh, and I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. Do you know, it's, it's incredible when I say, G'day, Roy, how are you, mate? Hang on, I've missed people as well. Hello, Reginald from South Carolina. Um, Poplar, yeah, no, it's nice, isn't it? I've got, oh, actually, I've got another one here. There you go. Poplar is popular. It's nice, too. It's, it's a nice veneer to, to work with. I, I enjoy using it for marquetry. Got to line the bumps up on this one. And perhaps I've, perhaps that should have come out of another packet. I don't know. And let me try this way. That's the way. Um, yeah, I, I was going to say it's funny. I can mess around in the shed. I was down here about an hour and a half ago. Oh, I think I'll stream, and then I do this and I do that and this, that, and the other, and the day gets away. The only way I truly get ready to stream is I use, brilliantly, this is, this is a good app, Snaz, S-N-A-Z. It's a uh, countdown clock, and it's brilliant. So what I do, I just set the countdown on, and then I turn the countdown on the OBS, and I know I've got to get ready. And yes, I won't lie to you, sometimes I reset the countdown button, but it's there to get me going. G'day, Darren, how are you? Angry Architecture. Uh, how's your stream going, mate? I see you're getting a few more views, which is good. And Larkin, g'day. Uh, what else we got? I need to find the place around here so I can get some veneer. I haven't been able to find it. Well, see, if you live next door to me, I could throw some over the fence at you, mate. I don't know what the... They're, uh, I don't know, check them out on uh, e eBay maybe, there might be, my biggest problem, I'll be happy to send you some mate, but the biggest problem is sending timber overseas, there's no guarantee it'll get there because a lot of times it gets quarantined and then the, especially, <laughs> I'm being cynical here, especially if it's a real it's a nice piece of burl seems to end up in the uh, customs inspector's house. No, I didn't say that. Dear, oh dear. It makes you wonder what happens. Hang on, I've just lost signal on one of me. Why is that dead? Oh, no. I didn't do that, did I? Wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I've just lost the camera, but it's all right. So I'll move this one from here to here. Bear with me, and I'll turn that off, then I'll turn that back on, we'll see what happens. Hello, I'm still here. Uh, now what it is, I've, I've lost a, um, I haven't lost, I have misplaced in the clean up, a power cord. And so I run with, let me just, I've just got to sync these cameras, wait a minute. That's all right. Um, that's a little clue if any of you are new to videoing. If you do what I just did then, just three claps. When you go into your editing program, you'll see three spikes. And then you line those up and bang, all your cameras are in sync. Then you can edit to your heart's content. That was a trick I learned when I had the television show. There you go. Nine times out of ten, you can find something that you can line it up with, but if you do it on purpose, it's a lot easier. Now, I'll put money, by the end of the stream, I would have knocked that stack of veneers over. Oh. So, how are we going? That's getting good. Really getting a wriggle on with the um, sheds up the top, and when I 
as I said before, when I get there, excuse my back. When I get there, I'll do some footage and show you what I've been doing when it's all set up. And uh, I think I mentioned before, I'll actually stream when I'm running classes if the participants are agreeable to it, I'll um, set a stream up from there and so you can watch people in my classes live making stuff. The good thing about that is you actually get problems that come up live that aren't, what did I just do? I just did something horrible then. There you go. Now I've lost your chat. Where's my chat? There it is. Bring it back. There you go. Um, yeah, you see problems happening in real time and real time solutions. I'm just going to move this stuff around here so we can see that. And that's there. Oh, where are we? <sighs> Do you having the chat today? Good to see. Good day, Ray. Or should I say, good day, Ray? Um. Hey, Daniel from Brazil, welcome. Uh, that's, <laughs> well, there you go. I stuck my head out of the door and checked the sky. Oh, no, you, I, I don't know. There you go, I've been watching Stargate Atlantis and the Wraith. They fly around in darts. Perhaps I was thinking that, I don't know. My foot hurts to dampen the car. Well, there you go. You just, you tell the Bureau of Meteorology or the weather station and they can use you as, and save all that money with space junk. Works, I reckon. Ah, oh, dear. G'day, John, how are you? Scott, nice veneer, love the car. Oh, yeah, I've got, I might do this tomorrow. I've got about 100 packs over there that I've got to do, but I want to do this thing first. G'day, John, how are you? Lovely to have you on by another John. As in Sats John. Uh, what's the tool on the wall to the left of the planes? What's cooking while he is doing? <laughs> what's the tool on the wall left of the planes? I don't know. You mean that side? That side of the plane? See, because I'm looking at the TV screen. That's my left. So is it on that side or is it on that side? Is it on here? You go. Is it on the moulding plane side? Or is it on the glue pot side? <clears throat> hey Seth, how are you? The X shaped thing. Oh, that! This, oh, this is a Nobex angle finder. Now I want to get, Phil, Phil, if you're watching, mate, you've got to come in and you've got to explain this to the good people because I still haven't totally worked it out, but it's a Nobex angle finder. And the demonstrations I've seen with it is brilliant. If I wanted to cut something on my saw table at a certain angle, all I have to do is push this in. It creates the angle I want. Then I just go over to my saw and I, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm hopeless at it, but it pulls apart and then you just set that up and you get the exact angle you like. Brilliant if you're doing restoration work and you've got some old uh, capping that's, yeah, sure, it's meant to be at 45 degrees, but over time and you don't know how good it was to start with, it might be 48 degrees or 47 degrees or 43 degrees. And if you cut it at 45 degrees and try to marry it, it's not gonna work. Whereas this, you just put it in there, psh, Get that exact angle, go over to the saw, set your saw blade up, cut it, bring it back, and bang, it marries perfectly. So I will work on Phil. I'll give Phil a, a uh, call during the week, and he can come out and demonstrate that. Oh. Can't even get it back up on the wall. Oh. So there we go. Oh, all right. I hope that helped. It's a Nobex angle finder. 
Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I might just trim this up first. This, uh, for those of you who watch the screen, <coughs> the other day, that's Chilean Myrtle Burl, Jarrah on the back, and that's the lid to this box. I was originally going to do the box all by hand, and I still will do one by hand, but I'm a bit pushed for time, so I want to start classes... Um, Where's my dolman plate? In my shoe. Okay, let me do this. I want to start classes in March. And I want to have what I'm doing here. I can't show you because I'm left handed. Oh, I'll try. Here you go. I'm just sharpening this blade up. There's just a little bit of 600 grit wet and dry. And I'm just brightening the cutting edge up on this knife. That's a bit better. And, um, 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 what was I talking about? Oh, I want to get, yeah, classes up and running, so I just want to have this finished so I can show people what they're going to be making in Box Making 101. So I thought this morning I would just quickly do it. And I was going to cheat. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I thought I'll just sneak down here, use the table saw, get it done, and that's that. But then I thought, no, because there's got to be people out there that don't particularly like handwork, and they might like to know how to make a box using a table saw. So that's what we'll do. This is just trimming all the excess off here. And uh, I, I tell you what, I got a lot of response from the... Yeah. Um, Cabriol leg episode that we did that I was asked to draw one. So on Monday's stream, which is Sunday if you're north of the equator, I'm going to make a Cabriol leg from scratch. Oh, I've actually done it um, in a previous video, which was the first season I did, um, Woodworking Masterclass Season 1. I think it was Episode 4. But I was younger, had more hair, and the workshop was different, so I thought, nah, I'll do another one. Okay. So that can go there. Let's go. Let me have a chat, and then we'll go over to the... Table saw and we'll knock. Oh no, I've got a sander first. And I'm, go I'm going to use a sander too, an electric sander. Uh. <laughs> oh, the hay. Oh, what are we? Other hang, ha! Other planes hanging by magnets. No, as Paul correctly pointed out, they're on uh, cuphead bolts, which I can't take a camera over there. The oh, perhaps I can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just see if I can unhitch this one. There we go. Now, if I've got some legs here, we should be able to do this. Here we go. There you go. That's it. It's a coach or a cuphead bolt, and it's got nuts on the other end. It's just on a lump of timber that I have then very crudely screwed to the wall there and up that end, and the bolt bolts go through it. And I've got plastic coating, just a bit of plastic tubing over the bolt, so it doesn't rub on the handle. So there you go. I've had that, oh, it's got to be about 20 years old, I think. That rack, oh, maybe, I don't know. Oh, oh, do -do 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 -do. I've got to make a plain tool. My collection grew massively after an estate seller. It's funny how that happens, isn't it? All of a sudden, well, I mean, it's, it's sort of like siblings. You can't set them up. If they spend a bit of time in the toolbox together, 
they should remain together. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. I'm loving the sag and the moulding plane rack. I'm loving the sag. I don't think there's this. Oh, this one here. Yeah, no, that's what happens. See? Cheap plywood. Cheap plywood. No reinforcement. I'm actually thinking I was going to make another one, and then I thought these ones up here, the, the HT Gordons, I'm going to keep those down here, but these Mathesons I might take up to the. Um, uh, ba 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 what? The classroom. And people can use them up there. What's that number six doing there? Go away. There you go. Oh. <clears throat> You're scared to drop it. Yeah, it's not a nice feeling. Not a nice feeling. Thanks, Kevin. It, it, well, well, it's more from practicality point of view than anything else. I needed a place to put my planes. And everyone's making these beautiful tills and everything. Now, I'm, as, you, as you will notice, if you haven't already, I'm not one that gets too hung up on peripheral, peripheral um, structures. I mean, if it's, if it's something to put a plane in or something to hold, I don't care, just whack it. Look at me. Okay. I don't know. Could be $1,000 worth of saws there and they're on a, a bit of old stud. Don't care. The big thing is when it comes here, and I'm using this with this with some of those to make something. That's what's important to me, not how things are hung up or whatever. Just, you know, get the other way. Much prefer creating and making than getting ready to create and make. Oh, there's a quote for you. Much prefer getting on with the business of creating than getting on with the business of getting ready to start creating. There you go. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was thinking. Huh? What, what, uh, what word first tool machine to start with your workshop? First machine, in all seriousness, if you're going to get one, get a bandsaw. A bandsaw will take the place of so many other saw, uh, so many other saws, so many other bits of equipment. You can do so many things with a bandsaw. First tool, um, I don't think you can just buy one tool. If you're going to start a workshop, I think you need... I did have a, um, a list I used to have on my website, and it's basic tools. So I'd get at least a plane, chisel, hammer, three chisels, hammer, saw, screwdrivers. There you go. That should start you off. But your first machine, definitely I would recommend a bandsaw. 14 inch is fine. Uh, anything less than that, yes, they do work but it does limit you. I've got an 18 inch jet up in the student's classroom. Um, and quite frankly, I use a 14 inch one far more than I use an 18 inch. So it's, it's a very versatile machine. Oh dear. Plywood sucks, yeah, well, yes and no. If you use <clears throat> the plywood I prefer, which is birch ply, which is this ply here, uh, you pay for it. A, a normal sheet of half inch, or, or yeah, half inch uh, general plywood, I think I paid $37 for it. A sheet of this birch plywood, I'm paying about $160 for it. So it's about four times the price, but I'm quite happy to make something that's gonna last a thousand years using that, whereas the other stuff, no. The benches and utilitarian products are things that I put together, as you will see in the classroom when we get up there one day. Yeah, it's just cheap ply, because I don't care. Uh, the important thing is when I'm making something. That's what I'm more concerned about. Um, yeah, and I'll tell you what, I would take cheap plywood over MDF any day. I saw your moulding plates, Kevin, on your show, and but we're just oh, well. Thanks, Kevin. I hope it's not as bad as mine. <laughs> Mine's sad. It's sagging. Look, it's sagging. But all all you'd have to do is just put a bit of two B one on its edge underneath that for support, and it's good as gold. So post a picture if you would like, Kevin. We would love to see it. It's great when people share things that they've made 
with other people because we get encouraged and we get ideas. Uh, hi, Steve. Who we got there saying hi, Steve? How's it going, Stephen? Dezanin. Dezanin, is it? G'day. Welcome. Thanks for dropping in. Just got here. My wife said hi. Well, well, hi, Stephen's wife. Her name's not Sue, is it? Because my wife's name's Sue, and then we could be Steve and Sue together. Uh, started on the band so when I was six. I'm now 36 and still use the same old... Yep, nothing wrong. Look, I Obviously, because the situation I'm in, I um, use different uh, brands, but I started out... The brand, I kid you not, the brand was an elephant. It was an elephant band saw, 14-inch, three-quarter horsepower. We were talking about this. I was talking, I had to pick up some gent saws uh, yesterday. Again, for the students' benches, these, whoop, these things here. Where are we? There you go. That's for cutting dovetails. And I was talking to the lady in the shop about bandsaws. And, yeah, I bought mine in 19, 1989. So what's that, 99 to 30 years ago. Had a three-quarter horsepower motor on it, 14 inches, and that thing would never die. And as far as I know, it's still going. I sold it when I upgraded to... What did I upgrade to? I think a jet. Yeah, I sold it when I bought the jet 18-inch. And now I've got the Laguna. I don't use the jet very much because the Laguna is smaller, it's compact, and does everything I want it to do. No, nothing wrong with the bandsaw. And providing you, you keep minimal maintenance up with it, it, it nothing goes wrong. Oh dear, bandsaw is the one tool I wish I had made. They are, they are great, you can do so many things with them. Uh, that was Paul I was talking to then. I missed a couple. Uh, and the square square. Yeah, I, I, if you've seen Collins, I've shown you these before. These are, these are Mickey Mouse. Colin Clinton, there you go. And they're adjustable. So if it's not quite square, you can adjust it. I did show people in a video the other day how to check if you're square, square. So if you miss that, drop me a message and I'll show you directly. Um, do you teach woodworking as well as run your own shop? Yes, Bo, I've just started teaching. Um, all I want to do is, basically I'm a fine furniture maker, but the market isn't there for fine furniture anymore, so I have to diversify. And all I'm going to be teaching is box making. And with the box making is marquetry, because I love doing marquetry. That's my number one. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm just, I'm just trying to get a, a glue spot or something. Mark, oh, it's super glue. There you go. Marquetry. So it'll be box making and marquetry. Speaking of which, I'll get on with this box in a minute. Um, um, but I henceforth decree that today shall be the day we finish the music stand. Mate, I look, Ray, I'm 100% behind you on that, absolutely, categorically, without argument, phase or interruption. However, the day's half done, so your decree doesn't work. It has to be decreed at midnight. And fortunately, I was asleep. We will, we will. We'll get it done. Ray's having a shot at me because I and Theo started making a music stand. And to give Theo his due... He did his part of the music stand, albeit it only took him five minutes. And it's taken me, oh, it could be five months, maybe ten months. could be a year. I don't know how to get around and finish it. But it's all in the racks. It's all in the racks over there. And I was sort of Theo the other day. We haven't caught up for a couple of weeks, but we shall. And um, <laughs> he said to me, we've got to finish it. So, and then you'll find something else to moan about. Oh, I don't know. Um... <laughs> oh, isn't that the truth? It's, it's our long exposure to gravity that causes that, Seth. Oh, Paul, I thought you were on my side. You take it. Oh, good on you. As they say, happy wife, happy life. And finish your bed with make her. They she on the phone to you. I'm going up the house because I reckon she's talking to you. She, she, no, she's good yesterday. She helped me clean the sheds out. I didn't know why, but now I do. Because what I did to the classroom, she wants me to do to another bay in the shed so then she can teach sewing. And she's been very nice to me lately, so I've got to be very nice to her and I might finish that bed 
by 20... Oh, I was going to say 2020, but that's only next year, so no, that's not good. We will. We'll get... Actually, with this new skillion roof I've put over the sheds up the top, I can do it in there because I'm going to have enough space. I might even stream it. Having a bed for a wife is why she became a mum in the... <laughs> Got rid of that bed, found out what caused it. Um... That's when you were born. Well, there you go. And I assume, Stephen, you're still in good nick. Oh, dear. Uh, howdy, dude. I'm your odd fan. Oh, Felix. Jeez, how you going from Scotland? Mate, good to see you again. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting people back from Twitch, but... Quite frankly, I, I, I do think about going to do a stream on Twitch. Excuse me, I'm just hitching my pants up. I said to Sue that my belt, my belt is stretching or I'm losing my gut. She said, no, the belt's stretching. See, it's nice to have honesty in your life, isn't it? Um, yeah, getting back to feta cheese. Yeah, uh, Edwin, great to have you. I think about going back to doing a stream on Twitch, but quite frankly, if I just spent the same time doing a stream on YouTube, at least I get recompense for it. And they're a great crew. They're a great crew, everyone on YouTube. So thank you, heart energy out to you all. Uh. Hey, what we talk, beautiful bit of kit. What? what? I don't know, I've lost that. We're behind. I'm, I'm a little far behind on the chat. Oh dear, oh dear, let me hurry up. Excuse me if I miss a few. Uh, Dr. Crazy, how are you? Morning from Germany. Oh man, I'm happy you remember my... <laughs> I do, I do. It's lovely to have people coming over too and remembering me. No, I'm not going to do that because, because look, look, I'll show you. I'll show you why I'm not going to do it. See? That's got a great big lump in it there. If I put another hole in there, then that one sits out and you go, oh, his belt much to stretch a lot. He's getting fatter. So <laughs> I can live with that. It's all good. Not only that, I can fasten my belt at night time because I can feel that notch. Oh. oh, thanks. Oh, I appreciate that. And that's what I do. I stream what works for me. It's sad. That's what it is. Uh. All right. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ellen, thank you. Thank you so much. I think. Oh. <laughs> uh. Right, okay, now I'm gonna, um, I'll get to do some work. This, oh, by the way, this, this, free plug. I don't know how that's gonna go um, noise-wise because I've got to connect it up to a sucker, but I won't be using it for long. These are absolute, put the camera on, sausage. These are absolutely brilliant. Merca. I did have another brand one and Quite frankly, I think the Merca is superior to any other random orbital sander. And no, I'm not getting paid to say that. <clears throat> the reason I like this as opposed to the other one, number one, it's got an on-off switch. The other one I was using, as soon as you pick it up, it would start, which sometimes you didn't want to happen. You can adjust the speed, pluses or minuses. And it's got a beautiful lever that's also pressure controlled. So I can press lightly. It goes slowly. I can press it hard. It goes high. Now, they are available uh, from Japanese Tools Australia, Christian. And that is an absolutely awesome bit of kit. And it's very light, very light as well. The other thing I like underneath if you have a look, I won't get the other brand up because then you'll know what brand it is and I'm not being complimentary to it, so I won't mention it. It only has holes around the outside, the same pattern as the paper, whereas this has got holes all over the place, so it doesn't matter 
what paper you use, you're going to get good extraction of your dust. So there we go. Remember the name. Merka, Japanese Tools Australia. Christian, there you go. Hi, mate, how are you? Haven't seen you for ages, but still think of you. <laughs> Cheers. All right, let's go. I'm just going to quick. I'm only going to um, sand one side of these, and I'll work out what side I want to sand. I think I'll sand that side because that's going to be the inside of the box, and I'm not going to sand the outside of the box. That'll get done when it's finished, but it's much easier if you construct a box and the inside sand it. It saves you time later on. And sanding it before it gets, um, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, before it gets cut up, because then you've got one long piece of sanding. All I want to do is just take the glue off, basically. And that's the other thing, when I bought this one, it was actually cheaper than the other brand. I'm using 120 grit and um, although you can see me doing that, I advise extreme caution if you're new to working with veneers about using an orbital sander or a power sander because you can go through that veneer very, very quickly. It's just, I've used it a lot so I sort of can tell how much pressure to use and how I'm going with it. Ah! Yes, um, Dr. Crazy. I don't know what that is, but it's about $850 in uh, Australian, whereas the other one's 900 and something. So there you go. All right. Oh, where are we going? No, no, I'm catching up. What advice would you, listen for Bo, what advice would you give someone who wants to open his own shop? Um, do it. <laughs> there you go. Take it from Nike, just do it. And I tell you what, you will have the learning curve of your life. It might work, it might not work, you might make money, you might not make money, but at least you'll know. And you'll learn a heck of a lot along the way. So it's, it's a lot of things, you just got to try it. Suck it and see, we used to say. Um, what a, da, 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 da. a box went to his belt, didn't see that <laughs> Mate, you know me, I, I'm, I'm ambidextrous, I can adapt. Paul, that is. <laughs> did you join the hose with the power cable? Um, did I join? Yes, yes. Uh, and you'll notice, before I turn this on, 
Oh, you can see. Very, very little dust came out of that. Oh, well, that's all right, fella. Or uh, Evan. Um, whenever you can catch up, it's good to see you, mate. It's good to see you. Best abrasive, that's it. Best abrasive. Oh, I'm sorry. Japanese Tools Australia, Christian owns that, and also best abrasive. No, the sides weren't finished. We just glued them on. That was it. Paul, that's all we did. Or do you just call me Ewan? Ewan, okay, Ewan. Easy, done. Oh, in that case, you're getting the cheaper over in Germany than we get here. I think, I don't know. I might even be German brand, I don't know. But it's all good. Okay, let's go over to the saw table. Look at this. I've got cameras set up there already. How professional is that? All right, I'm coming over. Oh, dear. Let's cut these suckers up. Ah, oh, and most of this will be here because... What's going on there? Oh, you idiot. Did you see that? I just tried to put that. The um, <laughs> might have brought in with the fence. Well, that was stupid. Okay, let's clean this one off here. So much blade all on out. I'm of old school. I don't like too much blade hanging out. Some people say, "Oh, you've got to have all the blade out." Well, yeah, okay. You have all the blade out. I won't. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Well, that blade could get replaced pretty quickly. Um, what size do we want? 260, I think it is. Oh, wait on, let me just, because I'm copying this, this one here. Oh. <whistles> 260 by 220. Remember that, folks. 260 by 220. Okay. 260 by 220. I've got to make sure I've got the right one because I made a mess of it before. 260. There you go. Take those off. Let's measure that. 220. Near enough, good enough. Oh.
doing, Bob? Come on. Oh, you're a pest. What are you? You're a pest. You're going to go out that door and you're going to come in the other door, aren't you? Oh, no. Go on, there you go. All right. So now what we're going to do is cut down. This is the um, lapse. We'll go as close as we can. I can go a bit closer doing this than. Um, I would if I was using a hand plane because I can get a much cleaner cut. That goes to there. And we'll go to there, I reckon. Sounds fair to me. That will do. Okay, now, uh, wait until that stops, totally, there we go, um, Clean those out. Now I've got to run a <coughs> top rebate so we can get this top in. And again, this doesn't have to be super accurate, but it's nice if you can get it reasonably accurate. Just good practice.
Work out where you want your top to be. So I'm sort of looking like that as the top. That is the top. That is the top. That is the top. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is cut down about the same amount. Oh, hang on. Do I? Yeah. As I did for these rebates. I have no idea what I can't even see what I'm doing. So there you go. I mean, I can see what I'm doing here, but I can't see it on the screen. So the same thickness there, I'm going to cut down on the side here. And I'm using one of these. There you go, gripper. Make sure, this, this doesn't really matter in this case because I'm not cutting all the way through, but it's always good to make sure that the blade isn't going to hit that part. which is the best way to cut this. That way it's not going to be all that brilliant. This is where it would be really good if I had a zero plate in there, but I don't. And I don't really like the idea of doing what I'm planning to do, so I don't think I'll do it. What I will do instead will be take the waste out this way. What I was looking to do was run this up here on the blade to take this, where are we? To take this piece out, but I'm only left with oh, about a sixteenth of an inch and that will fall down in that crack there. When it falls down, that means the teeth are going to come up into here, kick back, and possibly lead to injury. So no, I'm not going to do it that way. And again, someone um, sent me a really interesting comment. And uh, they directed me to a video that Mike Rowe did, you know, Dirty Jobs Fade. And it was really good because... Mike Rowe said what I've basically been saying for ages. Safety is your responsibility. I mean, it's your life. And the, the nub of it was he was on a, a crab ship up in the Barren Sea doing a show. And he went to the captain and said, look, it's a bit scary out there. Do we ever stop? And I, I forget the exact words, but I paraphrase. I'll oh, come over the camera and I'll do it. I paraphrase, but uh, ostensibly... What the captain was said, it's not my job to get you home alive. My job is to get you home rich. It's your job to stay alive. And Mike Rowe said it just totally changed his perspective. And it's true. It's not up to anyone else to make sure you're safe. You know, you can do things and people say, oh, it's safe, off you go. If you believe it's not safe, don't do it. Easy. And you know, let me have a chat while I'm doing that. I'm back here for a little bit. And then I'll, I'll continue cutting. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, you can't get 
good tools, the tools on the crew. What about ECT? They're, I love their planes. This mob here, they're German, aren't they? Because I've got that out of Germany. That mob there. Not, I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of two cherries, which uh, is German. But uh, yeah, they do make some good stuff. Ah, I didn't read the next bit, not in your judgment, in your budget. Um, but why don't you, you should start paying it off now, John. Your, your Lee Nelson stuff. Steve, last week I built a box like yours, but I put the rebates on the small sides. Don't do that. Looks not nice. Um, yeah, you'll see what I do with this one. It doesn't matter where you put the rebates. So I will show you. I will show you. Keep watching. Here we go. I'm back there. Oh, I'm back there. Where's my camera? There we go. Okay. All right. Did I do that to all of them? I did, didn't I? And it's always a good idea, well, I find, they're the cuts. If the fence is going to be this side, have the cuts there. So you just grab it, slide it, and put it on. If your fence was up here and the cuts were going to be made this side, turn it around. Many of the time I've grabbed it and cut the wrong side. So I, I just offer that as a suggestion. That's not very nice. There is a um, the little lip there. Let me just see if I can find an Allen key and raise it up a bit. Very disconcerting. Very disconcerting indeed. Come on, hurry up and stop. There we go. I had to do that to the plate on the um, bandsaw just before I started streaming as well. It had a... Wouldn't that, wouldn't that rot your socks? How do I get that off then? Is it going to be this one? Here we go. This is on the run. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is all new. Uh, okay. So. Ooh, there's some sawdust down there. That. Okay, that goes into there, like that to hold that, which it doesn't. So, that, presumably, I'll we'll screw that down a little bit. Still. Still a bit of a ridge there. Nothing like running repairs, is it? Go 
getting better. But still not exactly what I would want. That might have got it. In the old days, you just get a bit of timber and stick under there. It'd be, it'd be good. So let's fix that. Uh, I think, well, it's going to be safer anyway. I can mess around with it later on and get it perfect. But at the moment, this will do. That's better. That's all the way through at least. Now I'm far enough away from the blade, I feel comfortable enough not to use the push stick. And you'll also know my hand is riding on the inside of the fence. Put one more dado in there to take the base, and we'll guesstimate that. So I reckon it's going to be about there. But I don't want it to be as deep. the other cuts. So I'll just drop the blade down. Let's have a look at that. Mm, up a smidgen. There you go. That should do it, I think. Well, have a look. Up a little bit more. That'll do. Oh, you must.
I just knocked that handle up. So I hope we're still good. And the fence moved on me. See how much it moves? Good. Quarter of an inch. There we go. Let me just try these again. The moment you start, you feel your concentration starting to go, turn the machine off and have a rest. Because that's when accidents do occur. Okay. That's that lot done. Um did it? Oh, whoops on the, yeah, nuisance. Don't cut and smoke, there you go. Uh, actually, if the dust isn't connected to that, I haven't got around to doing that yet. I will, I will. Now, where's that other bit of stuff we had the other day that I was gonna do for the base? A bit of jarra that I glued together and it <laughs> fell out of the hole. Of the, uh, what do you call it? The vice. Now, where did I put it? This is still out here. Is it? There it is. There it is. Oh. Oh, and that's the bit we glued together um, last week. And like, like it's glued now, it won't come apart. So I'll just give that a quick little touch up with the plane. Then we've got to glue, not glue this up, we'll put this together and we'll see how we're looking. Spare bench dogs, and I've gone and put them somewhere. And I can't. Oh, I know where I, I put them up in the other shed. This is the trouble of having so many sheds. I'm not complaining, but you just sort of lose track of things. There you go, that'll do, I think. Maybe. Oh, that go there. I don't know if it'll fit in here. If it fits in here, we'll plain do on that. Look at that. Just too annoying. I've got to put some more holes in this, I really do. You can guarantee whatever holes I'll put in there, they're going to be in the wrong spot. How about 
that. Nah, that's not going to work. Ah, stuff it all to do this. Oh. See how I go. A bit more tooth wouldn't hurt. There we go. I've got some wax here. Oh. It's not very good at all. Let's give it a drop, see if it comes up. I want to have a sharpening day, so I might even stream that. I'm going to get everything up to date and nicely sharpen, that's better. So I didn't have to go back to the stone with that, it just needed a good strop. It's a leather wheel with a little bit of cutting compound in it. And I'm back in business. Give it a bit of a lick with the hand strop. I find people go back to, whoa, beautiful, and no stone at all, that was just dropped. <clears throat> people go back to the stone far too often when a good strop's all it needs. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Okay. It's interesting. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'm talking to myself. Jeez, I'll tell you what, they're pretty involved. I've never adjusted this one before. And I was just looking at the setup of it. In Stanley's you get two uh, screws here and here. You just loosen those up and slide your frog along. This is, this is way more technical than that. It's got adjusting screws in the back there. So. Bear with me, bear with me. Uh, 
There we go. I think that's going to be a lot better. Get it in the right way would be helped. finding out a lot of things. I can't have it that far back because of the width of the plane blade. I'll go back to my number three in a minute. Just I thought I'd use this one because I like it. There we go. There we go, get it in the right way, Steve. It's most likely gonna work a lot better for you. I'll mess around with that in a minute. That's, that's all new technology to me. And I do, I like it. It's a lovely plane to use, but I haven't got the time to mess around with it at the moment. That's what I want, I just want to plane right off the bat. It's not too bad. Really? Wish I could clamp this. But everything I've got is <laughs> too narrow, too thin. If I do that, it's going to... Oh, that might do it. Got to adapt. Put that there, that there, that there. Look at that. Maybe. Maybe look at that. See, where there's a will, there's a way. Not ideal, but definitely doable. When I first started planing, I had too much angle on one side, so it's giving me a big gouge out here. So I'm just going along here to pull that out. We're nearly there. There you go. And that's nicely plain. Do the same to the other side. I'll just 
chop this down a bit. As I said, this isn't ideal, is not ideal planing situations, but that's what you get when you live stream. You just got to do the best you can. <sighs> I'll leave that off for a little bit. That's my hot glue pot. And yes, I could have put it through the drum sander, or I could have used the orbital sander, but I just like planing. And that will do. So I'm just going to go over to the saw and we'll cut this square, hopefully. box together first. Change the camera, I can hear you screaming. All right. Going to have to play with that one a little bit later. It's all right. Now can sit there. Had a few repairs on the run here today, haven't we? Oh, that's what happens. All right. Well, that looks better when you put them in the right way. Okay, clean that all up in a bit. I just want to get the measurement of this. One ninety five, one ninety five by. 2040. Now I've got to add in the depth of this here, which is six mil. So we go five mil, it's going to give us enough room for movement. So that's 10, that's 105 by 250. 
That's what I've got to cut this to. 105 by 250. Remember that, because I'll forget it. 105 by 1050. 205. See, I've, I've got it all, forgotten already. 105 by 250. All right, 105. Nah, it's got to be 205. 205. Second guess myself again. Now, if I want that joined down the middle, I'm going to. Are we on that one? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to halve this, so that's there, so we'll put one cut there. other side and then what I say 250 so in theory this this should come over five mil either side It sort of does, that's all right. And the same should be, it comes in there. Why do I do live things? Tell me. So that can go to there, that can go to there. That should be good too. All right, I just had a, had a ah, no moment, but no, it's all right. Everything's good. Okay. So the thickness of this is whatever it is. Get a... that wide, which is that wide, so I want it a bit smaller than that, we'll bring it into about there I think, and I will mark that all the way around, that bit we just cut up. This is a base so it really doesn't matter which way you Go with it. Okay, so we've got to come down to that thickness there. So I've got to take a lot of this off here and we'll plane that. And we'll just pick a mark, any mark, doesn't matter, that'll do. So from this line here all the way around, We'll plane from there down to this line here, which will then give us the raised panel that we're looking for. Now with a straighter bit of wood, 
Let, let's see if I can get it in here. Oh, look at that. Yes, I think, I think we're in luck now. If not, it doesn't matter because you can easily clamp this onto the bench. Using a hold, hold fast or whatever you like. No, we're not going to make it that way. We'll make it this way though, so we'll do. It's always good to do end grain first anyway, because when you get tear out, which you undoubtedly will, you're going to tear out and split here on the end. But that doesn't matter because when you come down this way, you're going to clean it up. I'm going to try and move a camera. This one over here is fine. You can't see that, but that's all right. And if I take this one off of here, and put it there, you can see what I do. Uh, I'll use a five and a quarter for this thing. That's it. Five and a half would do just as good. I think I might try five and a half because I've got the width of the blade there then. I'm not gluing this, that's why I'm putting glue on both ends. My phone's ringing. Wait one. Let me go. I bet you it's a telemarketer. Hello, this is Steve. Yeah. No, I don't. Um, Whereabouts are you? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, how many have you got? Uh, yeah, seven or eight. All right. Um, yeah, can I give you a buzz back? I'm just doing something at the moment. I'll give you a buzz back and see if I can maybe arrange a time next week. Okay? Yeah, sure, no, worries. no worries. Thanks. Bye. Well, no, it wasn't. It was somebody wanted something else done. But there you go. So thank you for your indulgence. But you'll notice you took precedence over them. I, I said I was busy doing something else. Um, now, I'm going to make that mark a little bit more distinct. So I can see it when I'm working to it. Uh, I could put a light down here, which would be a good idea, but the only trouble is if I do that, then it flares and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So that's pretty close on the mark that I want. So now I've just got to make the plane angle steeper as I go down to the edge of the tongue of the panel is going to fit into the box. Getting very close to that line, so we'll just do a, a test fit. Nearly there, it's, it's there, but not all the way across. So, a little bit more to take off.
you go, that's not too bad. I'll refine it with a block plane, but that's coming along quite nicely. Let's do the other side. Let me have a bit of a chat first. I feel like having a rest. Hang on, I'll just get a drink of water. Wait one. Uh. Now, the big heat wave we've had seems to have left, but oh, it's still hot. Oh, where are we up to? Marking gauges are nice. I've got to, yeah, no, I, um, I like those marking gauges. Hang on, let me just see if that camera's still going to work. Do, 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 do. Hey, Jaws. Dun, 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 It's okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just having a grey moment. Senior moment or whatever they call it. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh. Steve, you know I like hand tools, but it's easier to cut those four angles on a table saw, is it? Um, look, yes it is, and no it's not. Uh, in as much as it takes a lot of time to set it up, if you're only going to do one panel, honestly it's quicker doing it this way. And... You know, it's, I don't like doing them. I, I get that, you know, I've mentioned before that feeling down the base of your spine because you need a zero plate to start with and if you're using a normal table saw, that means you've got to take everything off and put your zero plate in because you're working with such a fine edge there. Where are we? Oh, okay. There, that that can easily slip between the fence and the saw blade, and then the saw blade digs right up into your job. You'll also find because you're cutting, uh, basically doing a resaw, you get a lot of burn marks and scorch marks on your blade. And I, I don't know, it's ugly. Uh, it looks, it looks um, production made. Whereas I think by doing it this way, it's, it's much more organic and it's more pleasing to the eyes, definitely more tactile. And if you make a mistake or slip while you're using the plane, pfft, no big deal. If you slip um, and make a mistake while you're using the table saw, big deal. I, I'm talking serious injury. Uh, fingers, wrist, hand, um, smacking the nog, and it can, it can actually jam in, sit down, kick back, spin out, hit you in the forehead. And, yeah, look, if you're going to do... Um, I would say eight or more. If I had to do six of these, I'd do them by hand. If I had eight or more, maybe 12, yeah, I'd set up the bandsaw and get everything in place, but I still wouldn't enjoy the experience of doing it. So there you go. Uh, my brother goes nuts when I whip out a hand tool while he's setting up his... Yeah, and you can get it done so quickly. That's, that's what I find. And then you can talk and you can do this and you can scratch your head. I wouldn't do that in a router. Those, those of you in the know my router history. I don't time me. Okay, let's pretend I'm doing this one. And this is end grain, so it's going to take longer. And you go through the, the uh, throes of setting up your saw to do a cut and we'll see who gets it done quicker. All right, go. There you go, done. Well, I don't think you can set your saw up in that time.
gives a much more, as I said before, pleasing finish as well. Where's my block plane? And, and don't forget when you, um, when you use the saw, you've still got a lot of sanding to do. Yeah, I might run the sander over this, but you've got sanding and cleaning up of edges and all sorts of other little things to do. Tell you what, that's, that could do with a bit of a sharpen as well. Now we've got to do the end bits. Oh. If I can get enough out there, I can get the hand plane in there without knocking the clamp, I'll be happy. It's great to have all these devices, and I, I like them. I, do. I love me H and T Gordon tail vice and uh, bench vice and all the other little great things I have in the workshop. But sometimes it's good to just go back to basics and see if you can get by without them. And all you do to marry the corners up, you keep planing until these lines here marry up with this corner. So I've got to keep on going and that'll come down. Same with whoop, this one here. So when I get that line on that corner to come down there, then I know it's even, I know it's square. This is, this is a new way of playing around with the cameras, isn't it? Belly cam. <laughs> one now goes from there almost to that corner and that one I've gone a little bit over that's all I'm going to do is come back here a couple of passes and it's going to be done in fact I'm not even going to worry about it because it's the base of the box and once I finish this I'll quickly throw the sander on it and um, we should be able to fix up any problems with the sander on the corner already. <laughs> so 
Close that one. We've got to bring this back up a bit. That'll do. If it fits. Let's see. Where's the camera gone? No, still a little bit, little bit tight there. This one's alright, I think. That one's alright. That one's alright. And that one's alright. This, this one here. Which one? This one. Okay. That's the five in fractions, the five and the quarter and the five and a half. That's got to have a smidgen off there. the raised panel that goes downwards that's going to be the bottom of the box that's going to be the underneath let me just put this one back up here there you go and I might just quickly hit that with a sander put these away Whoop. that one goes there that one goes there. That one can stay there. Because this is solid timber, I'll go. What have we got on this one? I oh, know, 120, that'll be. Okay, let's give this a quick hit. got a couple of cracks that have come through so we'll just fill those but all in all if I put a little bit of shellac on there if I can find some oh. <laughs> if you can 
find some, if you can open it. Great little things, these heat guns. Jarra. There we go. Trick when you're putting um, oh, look at the wrong camera. When you're putting uh, putty in. Don't need that. Is put a bit of masking tape or sticky tape, it doesn't matter. Either side. Of where you're going to be filling. Just like that. And then get your putty. Oops. And rub it into where the cracks are. Now I used to, I used to throw it on with a trowel and it looks pretty unsightly and you're giving yourself much more work to do down the track but if you put that masking tape on there like that, then when you take the masking tape off, you've just got the putty where it needs to go and it's not all over the board and it just saves you so much time sanding off down the track. So we'll let that dry and away we go. That's what I was going to do. I'll put a bit of colour on this so you can see it. Says he frantically looking for a cloth. And for my money, when you're looking at something, that looks a lot nicer than, that's just ordinary shellac I'm putting on there, that looks a lot nicer than um, having one straight off the saw. It's softer, it's more gentle, it's warmer. And all in all, I just think it makes a much nicer uh, finish rather than going, um, you know, with the saw and getting all sharp angles and everything. I might be wrong. I, I sometimes am. But horses for courses and like safe of your fingers. All right. I'll just let that dry for a little bit and then we'll knock those bits off. Let's make sure that this all fits nicely. <laughs> 
Look at that. Hey, how special is that? It actually fits. Not only that, by doing that, you get such a nice, let me change cameras. You get such a nice weight to the bottom of the box and it feels hefty, which is good. I've just got to clean this area up in here and then by that stage, the um, putty should be dry and we can sand that and then we've got to fit the top. So with this, I could use a chisel or I could use a plane. No, it doesn't matter. I'll use a chisel. I won't use, I could use a long pairing chisel, but if you don't have one of those, it's not going to help you very much. So I'll just use a normal chisel and clean it up down here. Because a lot of this is just going to get cut away anyway when I put the solid edging on. So it doesn't really matter. That's not real successful. Oh, where's, where's my rebate plane go? Who's flogged me rebate plane? Here it is. Here we go. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Real blood. Mm. Jammed it between the dog and the plane. As I said, this isn't ultra important because it's going to get covered up when I put the solid edging on it. And granted, if you had a, a router, which I do have, but I couldn't be bothered setting it up. You could do the same thing on, on the router. Okay, that's all I needed to do was just clean up those saw marks. This should be just about dry now. Or for all intents and purposes it will be. How much easier is that to clean off just those little bits? Where are they? There you go, just those little bits. You can hardly see them. Now if I put a rag over there, they, they might come to light. You can't see them, they're a little bit lighter, but for what it is, it doesn't matter. It's only the base of a box. And we will glue it up. This is still taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. That's because I talk too much. Let me have a chat, and then we'll glue this together. Oh, that hurt. And it's good to have a rubber mat and carpet down, so when things fall, it doesn't fall hard. 
Jared's worse than Shreddy Tim, but not ex exactly for him. Steve is, and it found it's rather expensive. Yeah, I do. I, I quite like Jared. I think it's nice. Oh, hang on, let me go here. Yes, Dr. Crazy, I don't like doing it. That's it, the, the race panel on the uh, tables. It's the same, I've got panel cutters there for the uh, router. Do not like using them either, they're like aeroplane propellers. Not nice at all. Uh. <laughs> what do you think of eucalyptus wood, Steve? Oh, yeah, not a great fan of it, Paul. Um, it, it's got its uses. And <laughs> the main thing I like using it for is making charcoal to fire up my forge so I can do blacksmithing. <laughs> There's so many other pretty woods around. Uh, not, yeah, not a fan. If, if I had to drop one species from my repertoire, eucalyptus would be it, I think. Oh, good on you. What did you get? Uh, cordless drill is better than my... Yeah, what? Well, cords. I like cordless. Oh, I'm over cords. I'm so over cords. Hey, Ben, how you going, mate? All the way from the Gold Coast. Did I tell you I'm starting woodworking classes? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. At Jim Boomba. There you go. Um, so, welcome. Lovely to have you back, Ben. Ouch or words to that effect, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Max! Max, Max, Max! How are you, my friend? Hard energy out here. Max and I go way back from when I first started streaming on YouTube. Lovely to have you with us, mate. Good to see you. I hope everything is well. Uh, Bob Mungrel Dog is not here. He's, he has been, but he left. Ah. Uh. Oh, drop me a, a, an email, Ben, and I'll send you out the course, what do you call it? Course, oh, information. Um, yeah, uh, admin at woodworkingmasterclass.com.au or message me on chat. All good. I'm looking at the moment at a 10-week course. Uh, hide, hide to, I mean, don't you love those high talk drills when they dig in and rip your arm out of your shoulder? Oh, love it when I'm building internal walls and they hit a bit of blue, what are we, blue metal in the concrete. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's glue this. I'm not using high glue to glue this up. Two reasons. One, it doesn't matter because the joints I'm doing, um, if they creep, you won't know. And secondly, I want to get it done quickly. So, that's the main reason. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Pinocchio. Um, I can get a zoom in on that, can I? Really? Can I get any closer? Oh, there you go. You're a bit closer there. I uh, don't want that one yet. Now, with the where the sliding panel, the bottom panel go, because that is real wood and not a veneer panel, I'm just adjusting that other camera that you don't get to see unless you watch the videos. And then you do. Whoops, that's no good. There you go. Um, because this is solid timber, you only put a dab of glue in the middle like that. And what that'll do, so what I did, there you go, just a dab of glue in the middle like that. And what that'll do is it'll hold this in place. You might as well look at me too. That'll hold that in place, but it will allow it to expand and contract. All right. So we'll put a bit down here and a bit down here. And we'll spread that out and give it a... 
Um, this glue up isn't where your main strength from this box comes from. The, the main strength that is in this box is actually from the solid edging that will go into it. Um, I don't think what's the time, no, I won't have time for that today. Might come down to do that tomorrow. Is that someone coming in? No, it's the wind. Oh yeah, it's the, it's the missus. It's Susie. How you going, darling? Oh, look, I'm good. I'll just jam my finger. I oh, just about finished. I was going to come up, but I just got to put this box together. Mm. So here come say hi. Hi, everyone. I'll give you a big build up. Like this. Here, come down, Susie. Come and say hi. <laughs> All right. I've just got to put this together. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that goes in there. And don't forget, we've only got one drop of glue. In there, none on the side bits because we want it to be able to move, breathe, and do what it's meant to do. Can go in there like that, and this can go on the end like that. Ed said hi, Sue. Roy said hi, Sue. Paul said hi, ma'am. So he's polite. Oh, <laughs> okay. Pull that down. That's nice and tight. Oh dear. So how's it all going up there? What are the chillings up to? Playing games. Oh, duh. <laughs> it's the weekend. What and I've just finished a UFO, except for the hemming around the edge. Oh, as in an unfinished one? Yeah. Or? Oh, there you go. Well, when are you going to start streaming again? That's one, of the, that's one of those great unanswered yeah, questions, it is. isn't it? it is. All right. Yeah. And I've decided temporarily what I'm going to do with the new shed. <laughs> Can you just say that again? You've... I've just decided what I'm going to temporarily do with the new shed when he gets all his stuff out of it. That's... That... Oh, like this morning it was, there's no rush. No, it's, everything's cool. Now, now, yeah, the, the, biggest, the biggest problem is when wives think. Guys, guys, they, they agree with me, but they're smart enough not to say anything. Why, what do you come up with? I'm going to have it as my quilting room for the moment. We're going to have this discussion. No, we're not. I'm, I'm going to lose, but it's all right. Yeah, well. So, well, what, what do you mean your quilting room? What, do you, what about your sewing room? What are you going to do with that? Yeah, I'm just going to use that. Yeah. But just give me more space for when I'm quilting. So you want to move your table? Hang on. Not the big one, not. Oh, you mean actually... Do you mean actually sewing the quilting? Or what do you yeah. mean by... Sewing the quilting. Oh, when you're actually quilting, because see, oh, I know what you mean, but most people, when you say quilting, they think you're making quilts. But no, when you're actually doing the quilting. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Oh, uh, hi, Angry. How's life going? And Don says, How come, honey? You get more highs than I do. Yeah, but I'm better looking than you. Got more hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Dr. Crazy, he's in Germany. Yeah, I need first aid and the coffee, mate. Forget the first aid, bring the coffee. Uh, uh, oh, dear. I'm getting a lot of people coming back over from YouTube, which is great. Cool. Well, hello, everybody. There you go. Oh. Suffering from a bad back at the moment. Why? What did you do last night? You tell the people what you did yesterday afternoon. Sat and watched him. Yes, yeah, sat, sat and watched <laughs> me pick up I don't know how many sheets of glass and bits of metal and forges and anvils and she gets the bad back. That's sharing, isn't it? But you told me to sit down. Yeah, got done quicker then. 
fine. Because, oh, no, nah, to be fair, to be fair, the boys wanted to help too, but it is, isn't it? Sometimes it's quicker if you know where something's got to go, pick it up and do it yourself rather than, but Anthony was brilliant. And Noah was good, good too. Noah, yeah, he, no, he was good. He picked up a bit of sandpaper. Yeah, Noah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something. Oh, no, he said, he said. verse. No, he said, don't be like that. He's a good kid. I know. He said, well, I don't know why I'm doing this. I want an office job. I'm not built for physical labour. <laughs> oh, dear, bless his cotton picking look. Oh. Uh, Suey, no, she's Suey. She, she's not sushi. <laughs> I, I'd disown if she was sushi. Oh, I hate that. So, do you like sushi? I hate it. It's, if I want to eat dead fish, I'll, no, no. Uh, yeah. Oh. What do you, I agree with you, Steve. I'm single and want to stay that way. Love my flight for it, man. <laughs> uh, oh, Steve's wife says hi to Steve's wife and da daughter of front. Daughter of front? Is that right? Hello. Daughter of front. She's, she said hi. Hello there. She sews. And she used to stream. I just got to dock this while I'm thinking about it and then I'll, I'll be back. So you can make sign language. <laughs> <laughs> no, be nice. Play, be nice. play nicely. Play nicely. I always do. Uh. Oh, Sorry. Okay. I'll be back. Ben asked, where were the scones? I haven't made them. Where? Them. Yeah, hey, good question. Who said that one? Ben. Ben, mate, you get scones for morning tea when you come to class. Ben's on the Gold Coast. Live on the Gold Coast, didn't we? We did. At least we don't now, though. Eh? <whistles> I'm getting me two boys back, too, aren't I? You are. So they're, they're, they're coming up. They're coming up for a visit. They're coming up for a visit. So that's good we get them on stream. Mm. And I, I might have all five there, me, me, <laughs> me, me three sons and me two grandsons. Yep. Go, Bob. Get into it. He's having a bark or something out there. <whistles> ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Oh, I should have showed you that, but I thought you'd prefer to look at Susie than watch me on the saw. Oh, what is this? What, what, what? My work. I took me to dinner for my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Ed! My wife took me out once and she said, and if I was good, she's going to bring me back home. So I must have been good because I came back home. I forgot I you were saying. I right. was going to, we're having a, a new toilet put in up the front. And I, he got stuck in there yesterday and I was going to feed him through a straw. <laughs> Only if he didn't behave. <laughs> but at least I could have gone, even if I'd been eating. Yeah, it's going to be good to have the toilet in. There we go. All right, we're done. Whoops. Uh. Bye, everyone. Oh, you still on? Go on. You can. No, we. No. We're not. We're. We're. we're yeah, then wait there for a tick. Oh, okay. All right. So that's that. That's that. I've got to jam that up. Wait a minute. Push that home. 
that's the top. And tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'll cut the grooves out and put the solid edging in. And then we might have a crack at doing a dovetail box, a dovetail box, because that's something else I want to do. But I, I think those of you that have been watching for the past 10 minutes realise that all of a sudden powers beyond my control have asked me very nicely, you're not getting the kicks under the bench that I'm getting at the moment, but very nicely <laughs> to work on her shed so I can finish mine off. So that's it. I, I hope you got something out of that. I'm but... not really that nasty. Those that have known me for a long time know that I'm really the sweetie. Oh, oh, that wasn't nice. See, I'm going like that. I didn't realise she's looking at the <laughs> she's looking at the monitor up here and can see what I'm doing. All right, I'll be up there very soon, oh darling. Gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, it's mama time. Oh, you're angry's getting over a cold. You need some of Susie's chicken noodle soup and apple pie, mate. That'll let her fix you up. Homemade chicken soup. Homemade chicken soup. Grow your own chickens. <laughs> and Paul says I was right on both counts. Better looking and more hair. Oh, that's it. Thank you so much. You guys have just made my life misery. It's all right. So. Oh, God, now Mungle Guts wants to come in. What? Yeah, you're going to say good day to Max? You come here. Come here. Come here. Max. Max, this is just for you, mate. <laughs> here. There you go. Say hello to Max. So, come here. Bob. Bob. You reckon he's got fatter, Max? See, there's Max. Max. There you go. All right. He's, he's going over onto his mattress now. He's actually, see, he's spoiled. Where is he? He's got a mattress, but I've got to get his bed made. Ah, oh, it's a sook. Oh, dear, oh, dear. All right. So that's it. We got that one done. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'll finish that one off. And I'll start doing a dovetail one because I really want to get a rock and roll. Monday, Monday stream, or Sunday, if you're there, I'll actually make a cabriole leg. So I don't know what time I'll be streaming tomorrow, possibly around the same time as today. Um, but thank you everyone that joined in. Thank you everyone that's watching and hasn't joined in. Um, please make yourself available. Let us know what you think. If you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, please, because I want to really get to 70,000. No, I really want to get to a million, but we've got to do this in small steps. If you like what you see, hit the notification button, then you'll know when I'm on. If you really want to get involved, I would appreciate it. Hit the join button. I think it's $5 a month or something rather, and I do put blooper videos up there. And if I get asked any questions by members of the Woodworking Masterclass channel, I'll do a video and upload that, and that goes into a knowledge bank. So price of a cup of coffee. There you go. Thanks for the mods that have been on. Thanks for everyone that's come in, all the new people. Uh, the people that come over from Twitch, thank you so much. And everyone that's joined in and made my day go swimmingly. It was totally chaotic as per usual, but I expect nothing less than me. I might go and have a coffee, but I'll go to my new coffee shop up the road. And if you've got any questions, queries or complaints, please let me know. And I'll do my best to answer. But in the meantime, this is Steve pulling the shed door down. You know, I remember I used to do this without glasses on. Can't see the monitor now. But anyway, this is Steve pulling the shed door down saying, remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself. Be kind to each other. And that's about it. What are, that's it. Be kind to each other. Um, keep it safe. Can I, oh, I don't know. Thanks anyway, look after yourself, God bless, and I hope if the bad weather's bad where you are, that you're safe, and no harm comes to any people you love, or the property, or for that many, anyone you don't know either. So, till we meet again, I have the pleasure of your company in the workshop, at the bench, catch you later. Bye. <laughs>